Folks, don't be fooled by other videos. I'll explain everything here. This video will either save you money or you'll end up with a superior product, but not both. Here's how and why. Good day, everyone. I'm going to get right into the ratios and formulas for the cleaners and thinners for acrylics. Then I'll save the boring stuff like chemical composition and how they work for the end of the video. My disclaimer right off the top is these can't be induced or inhaled in any way. Do not drink and please wear an approved paint respirator when cleaning your airbrush or breathing these chemicals. These are the chemicals we are using. All are cheap and affordable and of course easily accessible. Let's start making the first cleaner right away. So this is the first chemical we're dealing with. Uh, make sure it has ammonia D, and that is the key ingredient in this. If you look in the back in the ingredients, you can, it'll actually say which formula it is. And this particular formula is 3514153. -1 and you can see it down there in the ingredients. So I have to bring that up because, see on the front, with ammonia D? Well, this one here is my replacement bottle. It doesn't say ammonia D anywhere on it, but it's the same chemical ingredients in it, all right? And I love using these squeegee bottles. They're basically a dollar each, and I keep the smaller ones at my workbench and the bigger ones at my booth. I do about 50% Windex here, 35% water, 15% ISO. And I'm gonna explain the difference between the isopropanol alcohols and why we're doing what we're doing. I looked everywhere for a funnel and I can't find one anywhere. I'm just gonna be using this. I'm gonna be trimming the end off a bit and it's just to make our pour a little bit easier. This I'm just gonna cut and we're gonna be using like a funnel. So if you don't have a funnel, uh, I just use the lid like that and we're set. So before I go any further, I'm gonna mark on my bottles where I want what. So at about 50%, we want Windex. Up to about 90%, we want water. And here we want ISO. And here we want our glycerin. Again, 10% with windshield washer. Then up to 90 with water. And then ISO and glycerin. So I don't know if it's easier that I poured it into here. Uh, we'll try, we'll see what happens. Let's see here. Next I'm grabbing my distilled water and I'm bringing it up to the next level. Pour slowly so you don't create too many bubbles. Okay. Here come the bubbles. That's fine, they're easily wiped away. Second to last portion, we're gonna go 99% alcohol. Okay. And then we're gonna take about 10, 15 drops of glycerin. You could remove the funnel for this step. like about 15 to me and before you do any stirring make sure you put on the lid you don't have to plug it with your thumb or anything just put the lid on seal it tight and then upside down and you want to give it a twirl you 
and boom. And here we're gonna do the windshield washer fluid base. And the reason is I make two bases, uh, is this basically cleans out an ammonia base because you don't want uh, ammonia lingering. I'm not saying windshield washer fluid is any better. But uh, this particular windshield washer fluid has antifreeze in it. And antifreeze essentially um, is an additive which uh, lowers the freezing point of a water-based uh, liquid. And obviously this is all water-based. So we're going to add uh, water next. So essentially this mix we're making now has a lot more alcohols in it, so to speak, uh, a lot more water, and zero ammonia. And then we're going to top it off with 99% alcohol again. And then next we're going to make our thinner after uh, we drop in our glycerin. And I'll explain why and how all these chemicals work together and uh, with each other. Right. So same thing, about 15 drops of glycerin. So, there we go. Add the lid on top. <clears throat> Upside down, nice twirl. And again, this second cleaner is just for finishing up that. Uh, these chemicals, dyes in them as you can see, blue and purple. These go transparent, they disappear. So next, we're gonna make our thinner. And I'm not gonna, again, copy any company, but uh, in all of my experience, this is the best ratio right there. Uh, I'll explain why even the differences between 99% and 70% alcohol. 70% alcohol right off the top is 30% diluted with this. So this is the pure version of alcohol. And to get it to 70%, you add 30% distilled water by volume. 70% is actually more effective to kill bacteria, fungus, uh, and etc. And that's because of the water content in here. Because this is stronger, so to speak, uh, this has more alcohol in it and less water. So the water is basically used to trick the fungus, so to speak. Again, I'm not a chemist or anything like that, uh, but it tricks the fungus and lingers around longer. So instead of flashing away quicker with 99%, the 70% actually hangs around a little longer. So it gets a little bit more work done, if that's an uh, easy way to put it because I'm just a normal guy and I'm trying to explain it to all you guys. And I'm gonna explain how all this uh, works now. So all I did is took this 500 mil and if you add it to a, a one liter and add this or fill this with water, distilled of course, and then you have a 50-50 mixture, which is this right here. That's how easy that is. And I'm telling you, I've been doing this a long time. And if you guys want to know exactly what's in our, our other brands, it's easy to find on the internet. Every brand. These chemicals aren't allowed into our countries without a chemical breakdown. So that's why when they enter certain countries, there has to be regulations, codes, um, a plan of attack if something... If someone were to induce one of these chemicals, they have to have a way to, to deal with it. So all these chemicals, they have to have some sort of, uh, see to us, they won't say exactly what's in it. That's fine, I get it. I'll still buy all these products. I still do buy them. This isn't a thinner. This is exactly what it says it does. It's a retarder and flow improver. Because naturally all these products in here are clear also. They add the dyes in here so we can see them. Okay. So all these products that uh, kind of work with each other, this one doesn't. I'm just telling you I still use these products. 
this does not work with uh, these products. This works with this. And if you want to learn more about how you add lacquer uh, thinner to your acrylic Tamiya bases, uh, watch my advanced Tamiya video. And you can even watch my normal Tamiya video. I'll put the links uh, in the description. And they basically talk, one talks about the basics of Tamiya, and then the other one they talk about the advanced techniques of Tamiya. So let's start with the glycerin. I'll just quickly go over each chemical here. Uh, and medication is used as a moisturizer to treat or prevent dry, rough, scaly skin. Due to having antimicrobial and antiviral properties, it is wide, widely used in FDA approved wound and burn treatments. It's classified as an alcohol and the boiling point of it is 290 degrees Celsius. It's also known as glycerol. Windex, although one bottle does not show the ammonia on it, the ingredient in both containers are still the same. Um, this type of ammonia particularly has already been diluted for a home use consistency. Um, and in my opinion, inhaling the vapors are harmful. So don't inhale any of the vapors to do with windshield washer fluid or Windex. Alcohols usually range within the 60 to 99%. And anything below about 50 is essentially ineffective. And that basically works when you go above 70% too. So if you have 80 or 91 or 99% alcohol, it's not as effective as 70%. Um, that generally works true in medical and so in the paint world and hobby world, it might affect our models even more so. I've been using these products for years and um, so if you don't uh, believe what I'm saying, you could easily search on Google because I did a little bit of research before I went to blab to you guys before I uh, didn't you know I admit I'm not a chemist I don't know anything about chemistry and chemicals and this and that so before I said anything about this video and just making your own homebrew stuff I want to do a little bit more research on what we're doing here because I already understand them but I don't want to say I do and get in trouble it's kind of like my disclaimer because I really don't as mentioned also the windshield washer fluid it has um, so depending on where you get it it has different chemicals uh, mainly alcohols in it also and uh, I generally look for one that has antifreeze in it and you can tell by what temperature uh, it's good to Well, thank you for watching the video to this point. And if you like or enjoyed what you saw or even learned something, please hit the like button. I strive for semi-informative and decent content. So if you want to be informed about future videos or content of your interest, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button too. If you have any suggestions or thoughts, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. I do also have an Instagram account which allows you to see projects and final reveals well before the YouTube video is released, so follow me there too. It's under the same name, Shirako. I do have a Patreon account, so if you'd like to donate and help me grow in the hobby world with crazier future projects, railroad expansion, and exclusive content only for members of Patreon, I'll provide a link in the description below. As always folks, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.